Aloha, welcome back to your practical printing. I hope everyone is having a great holiday season. It has been way too long since I've been able to get a video out for you guys. So I wanted to put out a quick tutorial on how to use virtual extruders for printers with mixing extruders like the GTEC A10M or the GTEC A20M or similar and have Marlin firmware. It's a very easy process and it mostly involves tweaking your startup script. So let's jump over to a slicer and let's do this. Okay, so the process that we're going to be highlighting here today is called virtual extruders. And this works with Marlin firmware or printers that are based in Mar Marlin firmware, such as the GTEC A10M, the GTEC A20, uh, and other mixing printers that are, are using that firmware. I'm going to use Simplify 3D because it's easy to illustrate the process here. However, you can use any slicer to do this. So let me show you how this works. We're going to hit edit processes. I'm going to go into my A10M profile here. I'm not going to cover all of the details on this because your profile is going to be different than mine, but I'll cover the basics on how to set this up. The first thing that you're going to do is start off by adding a an additional extruder. You can add as many as you want to um, as long as all of your settings are the same and so there's just two more for example but we're not actually going to use those but I'll show you how we would you just need to make sure that you get the tool heads assigned on those and ideally all of your other settings here are going to be the same as they are for your others for our testing purposes, we're going to look at the one I've defined that called 50-50, which is going to be a 50% mix of the left and the right colors. Once you have that defined a, as your virtual extruder, the firmware in the GTEC A10M and A20 will support up to 16 virtual extruders. And so I'll show you how this works. The key on this is going to be the startup script this specific section right here and I will detail these commands down in the comment but essentially it breaks down to for each virtual extruder that you want or each mix you want you have a pair of M163 and an M164 command. The two M163 commands here S0 is your left extruder, S1 is your right extruder and you follow with the parameter the P of 1.0, uh, I'm sorry, 0, 0.0 through 1.0. 1.0 being 100%, 0, 0.0 being 50, uh, 0%. And then you follow that with a, a mix here. So you're going to save it to a virtual extruder space, which is starts off at S0. So S0 is extruder 1, S1 is extruder 2, etc. It's a minus one type thing but that's important to remember when we call these later in this case I have a third one defined here um, as a 50 50 mix so it's 0 0.50 for both theory says I could actually make this say 0 0.75 and 0 0.25 if I wanted to uh, as well if I wanted to create a 75% and a 25% mix out of the two. But we'll go ahead and leave it at 50-50 for the example. So that's how we've defined our virtual extruders. If you've created more of them, then you'll just keep adding these in your startup G code. So you'll have S3 and S4. Theoretically, Simplify 3D doesn't support more than five or six virtual extruders. I forget what the limit is, 
but I believe like Slicer supports unlimited virtual extruders. So theoretically, if you wanted to go through the hassle, you could actually define uh, 101 virtual extruders that go all the way from zero slash 100 all the way up through 100 slash zero in 1% increments if you really wanted to. I'm going to cancel that and I'll show you now that you have your virtual extruders defined and created like that, we're going to bring in two models. And again, your process on this will vary for different slicers, but the concept is the same. I'm going to run the dual extrusion wizard here. We're going to tell it to use my three color profile. And it's going to say we're going to create the, le uh, the gift body at left 100%. And then we're going to say the gift ribbon and bow. I'm going to set that to the 50-50 mix. It's going to go ahead and align it there. And then when you slice it, what will happen is you'll see that your two, two colors, just like it was a two color slice, but your third virtual extruder that you created was assigned to the other part. So you end up with your 50-50 mix being a color. Uh, again, theory says that you can create more colors by, by varying that mix, depending on how well your hot end mixes or how creative you wanted to get. Um, I suppose if you had black and white loaded, you could truly do 50 shades of gray if you wanted to. So that's it. That's virtual extruders in the nutshell. Okay, so that was really easy and it was really quick. I will be sure to include a sample of the G code that I appended to the startup script down in the description below. It's really cool though. Once you nail the process, you can start doing things like this low poly Charmander. The green is a solid color and it's really hard to tell in the camera, but the purple is actually a blend between a purple and the green at a 50-50 ratio. Um, and you can tell a little bit on the tail if you can see it on the inside versus the back, um, how it blends. The, the mixing extruders don't actually do a true blending of the colors they do more like aqua fresh style so you'll sometimes see it come out the colors come out half and half and it shows up more apparent on one side than the other it also works great on things like the vine christmas tree by nick daimlo aka bugman 140 over on twitter now this was done without a purge tower um, because I, I separated the bases and I basically did it with separate processes but I used all three extruders here. So the base here was done in protopasta uh, imperfect galactic purple. The vines to the tree itself were done in high five blue and it's really hard to tell on the camera um, but the star was done in a 50-50 mix between the purple and the the blue and the camera really doesn't pick it up but if you get the light at the right angle you can see that there's the the purple in there so anyway that's a wrap i hope you find this tutorial helpful i will work on getting together another one for you on how to use blending um, direct from g-code as well with the a10 and the a20 printers rather than through the LCD menu you can actually create custom blends in g-code and I will work on getting a tutorial for you together on that as well and we'll see you next time on practical printing happy new year aloha